but when winter weather hits, like we're having right now, the last thing you want to do is get out of your car to pump gas. Well, there's a spot in North Minneapolis that is keeping things kind of old school. East Hennepin Auto is a full service station that has been run by the Rasmussen family for six decades. But soon, the owners will be shifting gears. Before then, I got an inside look at this hidden gem. A lot of the younger generation don't really know what you're doing when you come out to the door and, you know, they, can I help you? And yeah, I'm just going to get out and pump some gas and well, we do it for you here. And they're just amazed that the service like that is dull around. It is rare, but we did find a spot in Minneapolis, a gas station that has been around for over 60 years. East Hennepin Auto Service survived gas shortages in the 1970s and roller coaster economies. Mike Rasmussen has been working here his entire life. Yeah, I probably started uh, pumping gas here, you know, 14, 15 years old. When, but that was during winter breaks, uh, summer vacation, things like that. I was allowed to come over here once in a while. He is the eldest of three brothers who took over the business after their parents passed in 2022. Bernie and Shirley Rasmussen were high school sweethearts and bought this gas station in 1963 and they ran it like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, our father was the boss here, and then when he got home, then our mother was the boss. So when I first started working here, I'd get out of high school and get here about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was nothing to pump 1,500, 2,000 gallons uh, in a four-hour window of time. These are like my brothers, these, you know, these kids. Uh, I know them all real well. So. Skip Mosby has been a presence here since the beginning when gas was 20 cents a gallon. Just pumping gas. I remember pumping the gas and you smell the gasoline. You know, you go, oh. <laughs> that's the way, yeah, honest to God, that's the way it was with me. So I was kind of a motorhead. I've been hanging around here for, well, Oh, what, like 60, 70 years? My math isn't too good, but it's been a long time. But times have changed, along with the cars and habits of drivers. Electric is going to take over, and it should. And it's going to be great when it does, but you got to let it catch up. Really. After 60-plus years in business, the three generations of Rasmussen say they are hanging up the gas pump and handing over the keys to a new owner and closing up shop. Wow. Yeah, how about that? Mike and his brothers, uh, they, as you heard, they're going to hand those keys over just at the end of the week. Yeah. And he says he's looking forward to retirement along with his brothers and watching, you know, what happens next with the business after the new owners take over. So I just want to thank, uh, by the way, our viewer Tom, Tom Cook, for submitting that idea. So we always put that out there. If you have any ideas for hidden gems, be sure to send them in. But